next. In this video, we're going to learn how to get a user's information from the Facebook API and display it out on our website. Over here on my website, under the My Account section, we are going to be adding a connected Facebook account. If the user has logged in with Facebook, that means we have an access token for that user. We're going to use that access token, get their information, and then display it out. The email address from Facebook, my first name, and my last name. In the User Info Roth FB response section, we're going to add a little show hide toggle. Here is the full response that we got back from the Facebook API. The first name, last name, email address, those are displayed right here. And then our picture, the URL for the picture is in the data array. And this URL right here is what we're showing for my profile picture. If you guys have not checked out my Facebook login with PHP video, go check it out. That is where we log the user in with Facebook and we get an access token for the user. And then we save that access token to the database for that user. In this video, we're going to be using that access token to get the user's information and displaying it on their My Account page. All this code is on GitHub at github.com slash jstolpe in my Easy Code Is repository. Also, all of the code you see in the Easy Code Is repository has a video tutorial for it on my YouTube channel. Check out my Easy Code Is playlist and don't forget to subscribe. When I log in, log in with Facebook, we save the access token to our database. If I hop over to phpMyAdmin, my Easy Code Is database, the users table, here we see my Facebook user ID and my FB access token. Over on the My Account page, right under the My Account, we're going to add a Facebook account section. The first file I'm going to open is the myaccount.php file. When the user logs in, they go through the process underscore login.php. In this file, we get the user's information right here, and we set the user's information right here in our session. When we get the user's information, from our database right here, all of these columns are stored in our session. On the My Account page, what we're going to check for is the FB underscore access underscore token column. If there is an access token here, we're going to hit the Facebook API and try to get these information. If there is not, we're going to display them with a button that says connect your Facebook account. So in our myaccount.php file, here is where we're going to add our check. If we have ourselves a Facebook access token, we want to try and get the user's info from Facebook. In the previous video where we did the Facebook login, we created ourselves Facebook underscore API dot PHP file. In this file, we have a get Facebook user info function. All we have to pass into that function is the access token. Since we have the access token right here in our session, all we have to do is call our get Facebook user info function and pass in that session variable. In our get Facebook user info function, the access token's coming in, and we're going to hit our endpoint FB graph domain slash me. This define right here is defined in our autoloader.php file. Here we have our FB graph domain, which is graph.facebook.com slash, and then we're going to tag on me. That's the endpoint. Then we're going to specify the parameters that that endpoint requires. The endpoint for slash me takes in a fields parameter. And this parameter is a comma separated list of all the things we want back for the user. In this case here, we're going to request the first name, the last name, the user's email, and their picture, which is their profile picture. Then we're going to pass along the access token that's required for all endpoints. After we specify our endpoint and parameters, we can make our Facebook API call. This function right here is a generic function, takes in an endpoint and the parameters, and it sets up a curl call to that endpoint with those parameters. Again, Check out my last video, Facebook API, Login with PHP. That's where we go over all of this stuff in more detail. That is our get Facebook user info function. We will get back our first name, last name, email, and picture, and that will be saved to our FB user info variable right here in our myaccount.php file. Now that we have the Facebook user info, we want to display it in a section down here in the body of our HTML. We currently have our My Account section. We're going to copy this section. And right below it is where we're going to place our Facebook section. We're going to name this Connected Facebook Account. Then we're going to open the My Account CSS file. We're going to delete the width of 50%. Refresh that. There we go. Looks a lot better. 
Now all I have to do is display out our actual user info. Here we're going to have our if else block. If we run into any errors or any issues, we're going to display out a please connect your Facebook account button. Otherwise, we're going to display the user's Facebook info. Here we're checking to see if we actually have user info from Facebook. Back up here, if this returns nothing, then we need to display out a button that says login with Facebook to connect your Facebook account. Same thing goes if we have errors from the Facebook user info. That means there was something wrong with their access token. We're going to have them log in again to get a new access token, and then we should be able to display out their Facebook information. In the case where we don't have a Facebook access token, we need to make the user log out when they click this button in our document ready function. For my a-fb class, we have that on the on click. If they click it, we're going to see the loader, and then we're going to proceed to log the user out. They'll be redirected back to our login page where they can log in with Facebook and then they can get an access token. Then we will fall into our else here where we can display out the user's information. And the first thing we're going to display out is the user's profile picture. Here we are accessing our Facebook user info array. Back from up top here. And in that array, we have a FB underscore response array which contains our picture array, which contains the data array, which contains the URL string for our profile picture. Refreshing the page, we see our profile picture is now displayed. I want to make sure that's centered and it looks rounded, so I'm going to add this profile image container to my, my account.css file, and we're going to say text align center. Right under that, we're going to define a class for the profile image, which is a border radius of 50%. Refreshing our page, we should see a, ni a nice circular profile image centered here on our page, which is just what we specified on our two classes here. After our image, we want to display out the user's email address. Save that, and we're going to refresh our web page. Now we see that the email we got back from Facebook is displayed out right here. We're going to do the same for the first and the last name. Copy the same section, first name. And then we have last name. Refresh our page, and we have our first name and last name displayed out right here with our labels. Now what we want to do right below the last name is display out a show height section for our text area, which will contain the raw response we got back from Facebook so we can see all the data. Copy our last name section. Here we're going to say user info raw FB response. Then inside of our div here, we need a show hide section. Here we have our text area displaying out our response from Facebook. We have a little show hide toggle here, which we're going to set up in a second. We have specified the data section here. This way, when I, we do our show hide click, we can check out what section we're going to be showing or hiding. A default, that's just the default class we have for all of our A tags. The show dash hide class is what we're going to be putting the on click on. And this is the div that contains the actual raw response from Facebook. By default, we want to hide this because we're displaying show as the text. I'm going to copy this class over to the myaccount.css. And initially, we're going to display none. Then we're going to define the text area, set it to width of 100%, height 410, put a nice border on it, and a border radius of 5 pixels. Save that. And the only thing we have left to do is add a little JavaScript toggle for when we click on the show hide div. Back up in our on ready function, we want to do the same thing by adding a dot on click to our new show hide. When we click on the show hide, we need to determine what section they are clicking on, which is coming from our data dash section. Then if they click on the FB user info section, we want to show this section if it's visible. If it's not visible, we're going to hide it. This if statement right here says if the Hide, show hide section is visible. If it's visible, we want to hide it. Otherwise, we want to show it. This line right here specifies that we want to change the text to show. And then we want to actually hide the section. Otherwise, we want to change the text to hide, and we want to show the section. This is the text we're changing. We're either changing it to show or we're changing it to hide. Now, if we refresh our page, we see we have our raw response right here. So if we click on it, it's going to change the text to hide, 
and it's going to show our text area. This is the text area that contains the raw response from Facebook. If we click hide, it's going to change the text to show, and the text area is going to disappear. Now let's explore what would happen if the user has not connected their Facebook account to their My Account section for our website. If I log out and I head over to our Easy Code Is users table, I'm going to delete the Facebook user ID and the Facebook access token. Now, this user does not have a Facebook account associated with them. Back on our website, if I decide to log in with something else besides Facebook, let's say Twitter, I'm going to authorize with Twitter, and I'm going to head over to the My Account tab on Easy Code Is. And you see we have ourselves a button here that says Log in with Facebook to connect your Facebook account. You need to get that text centered. Back in our code, right here, we want to make sure that on our a-fb in our global.css we have the text align center. Only then can we proceed. Here is login with Facebook to connect to your Facebook account. We also need that to be a cursor pointer so it looks like a button. Now when they click on this button we set it up so that it logs the user out and sends them to the login page right here. If I click on this button it logs me out. I'm going to select login and now I'm going to click Login with Facebook. I click on the My Account tab. Now it has connected my Facebook account. Right here, I see my email, my first name, last name, and I can see the raw response I got back from the Facebook API call. Hopping over to PHPMyAdmin in my users table, refreshing this, my Facebook ID and access token have been stored, which allow us to get the user's info and display it on the My Account section. And that, is how you get users information from Facebook and you display it on their My Account section. We got the profile picture, their email, first name, last name, and then we have a nice little debug raw response here where we dump the whole response into a text area just for debugging purposes. That is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you wanna see coded up next. I'll catch you later.